In this video, I'll show you how to convert between hexadecimal and binary. Let's start with some theory. Hexadecimal numbers are obtained by grouping the bits in a binary number into sets of four and representing each set by a single number or letter. Starting with question one, we're asked to convert each binary number to hexadecimal. You'll notice that this number is not grouped in fours, so you can start by grouping it in fours. Every four numbers to the left of this number will be one group. So that's one group, that's another, and this is another. This last group of two can be written as 0, 0, 1, 0. The first group, 1, 0, 0, 1, can be found in this chart. 1, 0, 0, 1 is 9. So this number is a 9. In case you don't want to use this chart, what you can do is simply convert this number into decimal. And that can be done by multiplying this 1 by 2 to the power of 0, and this 1 by 2 to the power of 3. 8 plus 1 is 9. The next number is 0, 0, 1, 1. 0, 0, 1, 1 is 3. 1, 1, 0, 0 is D. And 0, 0, 1, 0 is 2. So the hexadecimal for this binary number is 2D39. Let's move on to the next number. We have 1, 1, 1, 1. All I have to do for this is look for this number in this chart and you'll find out that it is F. Lastly, we have 1 and this binary point 0, 0, 1, 1 and this 1. Once again, you want to group this in 4s. So instead of writing it out like this, we can write it out as 0, 0, 0, 1. That represents this number, that point 0, 0, 1, 1 and finally 1, 0, 0, 0. Starting with this, we can find that as 8, right there. This is 3, take a look. And 0, 0, 0, 1 is 1. So the hexadecimal number that represents this is 1.38. Let's move on to question 2. In question 2, we're asked to convert the hexadecimal number into binary. Starting off with f, f is 1, 1, 1, 1, and 6 is 0, 1, 1, 0. Therefore, your final answer will be 1, 1, 0, 1, and these three ones. You don't need to write that 0 at the front. The next number is 2F35. The 5 is 1, 0, 1, 0. The 3 is 1, 1, 0, 0. And the 2 is 0, 1, and you don't need to write those leading zeros. So this was our answer for A, and this was our answer for B. Our answer for C, starting with this 9, we have 1, 0, 0, 1, that radix point. Double A is represented as 10, 10, 10, 10. You do not need to write this part of the number. So there you have it. Six examples on how to convert between hexadecimal and binary.